busted out the purple scarf. Y'all know what that means. It's time to get to work. For those that have been subscribed for a while, you know. Purple scarf on Sundays. I'm, I'm putting that work in. It's Sunday setup time. Hello my friends. It has been a while since I posted a Sunday setup. To be honest, my Sunday setups look so much different now than when they did when I first started posting Sunday setups, when I first started my channel. You know, when I first started posting Sunday setups, my girls were really little. I think, let's see, Ava was one, two maybe two at the time. Now she's eight, and so they look very different than they did back then. I usually try to rest a lot on Sundays, to be honest, because I feel like I'm always going, going, going throughout the week, especially with the girls being so active, so I try to rest on Sundays. But now that we have so many projects going on at our house that I have to utilize this time a little bit more than just resting, especially when my girls aren't here right now, they're not here, they're at my mom and dad's house, and so I have to utilize this time. Of course, I'm gonna do my normal stuff, like meal planning for the week. The girls pick their own outfits out. I always make sure our laundry is set up for the week. I try to plan what I'm going to do for the week out, because it really helps me because this is gonna be a really chatty Sunday setup <laughs> because I really do feel like sometimes um, I have adult ADHD and because there's so many things going on I get so distracted that nothing gets done because I'm doing little bits of here 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 and my mind just jumps everywhere that nothing actually gets completed and so with that being said I want to I have to like say okay on Monday I'm gonna do this Tuesday I'm gonna do this and so like I have a lot going on right now like with the girls Ava's in cheer three times a week she goes to practice, she has a game every Saturday. Zara is in on a swim team, she practices that three times a week, and then she has some swim competitions usually once a month during this off season. She also does gymnastics once a week. I'm the PTA uh, president at our school, <laughs> and um, I still have a business to run, So, and I still have to produce content and stuff, so it I really have to balance my time effectively. But anyway, I say all this to say, today, the project that I wanna get done is this. Let me show you. you you guys remember the project that we started oh my gosh back in April where we redid the exterior of our home in the front like our front yard we resodded we had trees removed we planted new plants added mulch and dirt all around the front well that project is pretty much all done let me show you our plants look at the bees they love this little plant here are thriving one of them didn't make it so I'll probably add something this spring um, look at that aren't they beautiful though we were scared about our Japanese maple, but it's pulling out. We added this little rose bush tree here. I got that from Costco. I don't know what's going on with this though. Huh, some salvia here. That's a random plant that just started growing. <laughs> we added a rose bush and a hibiscus plant, which is doing wonderful. Look at those beautiful blooms. We had this rose bush was already here. This is the same plant that started randomly growing over there by the rose bush. We, we planted all of this. Oh, look at the butterflies. They love this, this bush here. I have some Helen Von Stein lamb's ear here. I forget what these are called, but I love them. They change colors during the fall, and then we have those back there, the purple ones. So, and then we have this island here. These were where the trees were. I love these knockout roses. They're doing wonderful. Aren't they beautiful? So pretty. I love the, the variations of pinks. I can't remember what this is, what this is, but it's doing wonderful here in the front. We get a lot of sun now that we remove the trees. We had our door replaced. We had our patio redone in the front. We just had a lot of work that needed to be done on the house. I love this this tree here. But anyway, we've got to we still have to like dig out the trenches here to make sure it's like a nice crisp line. And then all this sod is new all resodded and this is new this was our patio here in the front we had a contractor come out dig up the whole thing and re-brick it and we added these pavers here and we just, i just love it i think it looks so pretty so the last part that we have to do is actually put like a border here we were picking out some brick borders not brick but stone this one and then we're looking at this one i think we're gonna go with this to go all around the sidewalk here and around this. Anyway, so make a long story short, we did a lot of work. 
this spring. So we had the trees professionally removed and the sod laid professionally, but we did all the planting and the mulching and the dirt and the leveling. There was a lot of dirt we had to add. And so uh, what's left over is in this little corner here and it's driving me crazy. I just need it out of this corner. Right here, which is like the side of our house, I just need this to be done. So what is in, a lot of these bags are empty because that's how much mulch and dirt we had to use. But we still have dirt left over in here and we still have dirt left over in here. And I was going to, I don't know why in my mind I thought I was gonna be able to do this all today. I don't know, looking at it now. Uh, we were, I was gonna shovel it, put it in the, the wheelbarrow and then bring it down in our backyard over there. <laughs> in that little ditch. I don't know though, I, I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're just gonna try to see what we can get done today. Okay, I got the first wheelbarrow down. Let me come over here in the shade, see if you can see. Uh, we wanna fill this in. There's like a little terrain here where the water kind of flows, but we wanna fill this in. Now that we're, we've done the front, I mean, we have a lot to do in the house too, but I still want like a little tropical oasis out here. Um, I wanna plant sod here so that to grow, cause I really don't feel like we need to resod the whole yard over there is great. Right here is fine. And clearly underneath this, where these trees are, ab, ab, ab variety? A variety. I don't, I don't know how to say it properly, but obviously the sod or the grass is not gonna grow underneath here because of all the shade, but right here it should grow. And um, right here, it's just not level. It just like kind of comes down and I wanna plant seeds to grow grass here too. So we'll probably have to fill that in, but it's a lot. So we're just taking it project by project because obviously there's a lot of projects we wanna do inside the house too. And we still wanna do underneath here. We're gonna get rid of all of this trash here. Put pavers or something underneath here, but I don't know yet. But today, we're just gonna fill the dirt in, so let's just do that. Oh, we're done, y'all. Oh, Abby came out when he was able to do his work in today on and off and so we just finished up I couldn't film it all girl because I was just self determined because you saw how much work it was I ended up dragging one of those full size bags these bags can fit I want to say a ton of dirt so uh, we put some dirt on the side of the house in the back where I showed you underneath the deck I folded all these bags we're gonna take them back to the landscaping place to see if they can buy them back because we actually had to buy these um, to fill with all the dirt and the mulch and now hubby is rinsing everything down we're gonna pressure wash the driveway eventually but you know right now we're just washing the dirt off oh i'm all clean y'all busted out the purple scarf y'all know what that means it's time to get to work for those that have been subscribed for a while you know purple scarf on sundays i'm, I'm putting that work in anyways all right so now it's time for me to catch up my laundry this is the second load I've done today. I need to go ahead and put it in. I need to take the load that I did out earlier and then put this load in. And the girls usually fold their own clothes, but since they're at my mom's, I'll probably fold this for them and put it away. laundry's done now I'm at my desk I've got to um, finish uploading my video that goes up today and I need to meal plan okay I need to talk about meal planning I mean it's just like I have a love-hate relationship with it some weeks I'm great other weeks I'm like oh my gosh somebody I'm tired sorry I just ate some nuts 
tired of eating the same things and then you have to try to find new recipes and it's just like, oh. And then I have to plan out my week. Um, I wanna talk to you guys about that too. But first, let me go ahead and get my video up and running and then i have to review the girls some of their homework that they had so that they'll know if they need to do any changes when they get home and then i gotta cook and all that girl we still got a lot to do this sunday setup Ooh, all right y'all it's been about an hour it takes a while for me to upload make the thumbnail seo and all that kind of stuff but i was thinking about dinner for tonight and i have some langostino which are just like little mini baby lobsters I think that's what they are. Like to me, they're similar to crawfish, but hold on, let me Google it. Sorry, I had to Google it. They are different from crawfish. They're similar, they look very much so like crawfish, but it says they differ that they grow in saltwater seas and oceans, whereas crawfish breed in freshwater rivers and lakes. Um, but they taste very good. It tastes like a little piece of lobster. So I'm going to have that. I think I'm gonna just saute them in like garlic butter, maybe a little cream and then I'm gonna make some creamy um, sauteed spinach and I'm gonna make some keto biscuits because my husband and I are both keto. I wasn't keto for a while, probably for, let's see, three months. Yeah, three months. We, I just had a lot going on health-wise and I could not focus my energy on keto but I'm back now feeling really, really good about it. I've been keto now for a week and so I plan on just being keto for the rest of the year with exception to the holidays, you know, I'll eat a holiday meal. But anyways, that's my keto update. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook that. I think I'm gonna film a reel while I cook that. I'll probably do a reel for how I make my keto biscuits. Um, I've been enjoying making reels. It's like, it's, I don't know, it's it's different. I don't know, it's just brings me joy to do something different. You know, I've been doing YouTube now for seven years, which is wild. I've been uploading consistently for seven years. And it gets a little redundant, you know, and I'm like the type of person, even though, you know, I feel like sometimes I have to post things to get views. I've never, you know, wanted to post things just to get a view or whatever's popular at that time. I just like to post what is correlating in my real life. Like I never just post fake stuff or, you know, for those that have been around for a while, you all, you guys probably already know that. But the reels has been just a really fun, creative way for me to share more things than I normally do. Cause some, some things get more views on my main channel, Marriage and Motherhood. I also have Moms and Money that I do, which I've been neglecting lately cause we've just had so much going on. But, um, and I feel like I'm able to post them as a short and still, you know, get views and have new subscribers come in. So it's been really nice. It's like, um, I feel like it's just been a burst of new energy in my channel and I've, I've really been enjoying that. So, all right, that's enough of me yapping. I'm really hungry. It's five o'clock now. So let me go ahead in there and start cooking. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this recipe for keto biscuits. Oh, I don't have enough cheddar cheese. I usually do the cheddar keto biscuits that taste like red lobster. But then I saw this one and who is this? Uh, Joe Duff. And I think I'm gonna try it. So I'll let you know how it tastes, but this is his recipe. You can go check this video out. But yeah, all right, so let's go ahead and make it. I think I'm, I just have this much cheddar cheese left. So I'm gonna add this cheddar cheese with the mozzarella. So I'm gonna change it up just a little bit. I'm gonna probably put a little bit of seasoning in mine. I don't know. We'll see, but I need to get these in the oven. Okay, so I have one and a half cups of almond flour, half a cup of, of mozzarella cheese, and then I have the rest of my cheddar cheese. I just added that in. Um, I wanna say it's maybe a quarter of a cup, not even a quarter of a cup, maybe a little bit less, and then half a tablespoon of um, baking powder. So uh, I don't feel like busting out my food processor, so I'm just gonna use my Nutribullet to mix this all up. Okay, so I added some seasoning to it. Um, this is, all, you know, I'm just adding this based off of what we like, which is a little bit of garlic and a little bit of onion powder, and I put it in my Nutribullet, and now it looks like this. It's almost like a dough consistency when you put it in the Nutribullet like that. The cheese really meshes with the almond flour. It's not all the way, but I'm okay with that. So now I'm gonna whisk up two eggs. Now I'm gonna add a half a cup of sour cream into the eggs. Okay, I have four tablespoons of melted butter. I'm gonna add to my egg and sour cream mixture, and then I'm gonna combine that with our dry, uh, almost like dough. I don't know how many muffins I'm gonna get. On the original YouTube 
uh, Joe, Chef Joe, uh, he was able to do nine. So I'm, I'm thinking we can at least do that many. Um, but let me go ahead and whisk everything together. Mix really well because we got to get those lumps out. Okay, I was able to get eight. I don't know if my muffin pan is just a little bit bigger, but I was able to get eight. So I preheated my oven 400 degrees and I'm gonna bake these for about 12 minutes. I put these on for 12 minutes, but I am going to cook these for two more minutes. Okay, I have two tablespoons of butter in this pan and I have about a half teaspoon of capers just to give it a little je ne sais quoi. Uh, this is for my langostino and then I'm gonna saute some spinach. I just have some olive oil at the bottom of a pan, warming that up. I'm gonna add some minced garlic in here and just saute my um, spinach with salt, pepper, and garlic powder and that's it this literally takes like 10 minutes and of course we have our keto biscuits okay that was so fast <laughs> i cook i use the aina garden um recipe for sauteed spinach it comes out perfect every time i'll just add some melted butter on top of this as well as the langostinos because it's it's very liquidy and i just had um added old bay garlic powder i didn't add any salt because the butter that i melt on top of it is going to have it's salted butter so you'll taste the salt and of course the capers in there and so I'm about to just plate this up. All right, it's all done. I'm so hungry. I'm getting ready to pour the um, melted butter on top. I'll put some butter on our rolls. But if you're curious of what these taste like, if you've never had them before, it tastes like lobster. It literally tastes like lobster, little, little pieces of lobster. They've grown in price over the years. They used to be like $30, I want to say, for a bag from Costco. But now it's like close to 40, I think. Don't, don't. It's, it, I bought these over the summer and they were in the freezer, but really good. I mean, this would be delicious in a macaroni and cheese, like a seafood mac and cheese or gumbo or a seafood boil or something like that. It'd be so good, but bon appetit. Now it's time to eat. These are pretty good, y'all. There's the consistency you could see. Very, very soft, yummy. All right, I got my leftover biscuits that I'll eat. Uh, my husband and I will eat throughout the week. Cleaned up, did all of the dishes. They are drying right now. So now let's go meal plan for the week. We have so much going on this month. And something that has been helping my husband and I lately, both of us, cause it's just so many home projects, just to name a few. We, the girls are getting their own room. We've got to paint. We've got to get their mattresses, their cribs turn into full size beds. So we've got to get all the stuff for that. We've got to get a new bed cause our bed broke. Long story, different story for a different day. And I want to paint in my room and do that. Uh, we checked something off the list that had been on our list for a while, which is, you know, dealing with all the dirt on the side of the house. So that's a plus. But to keep track of everything, what we've been doing lately, we will sit down and ask each other what we have going on for the week. And then we will say what we want to get done for the week together, like the household needs to get done. So we've been making lists like that for the past three weeks and it really helps so that you can track to see exactly what you're getting done for the week besides work. <laughs> That's been helping us because like I said, it's a lot and it's more than just the girls just moving into their rooms. Like I've got to move the desks, like this desk Zara's been using for her station, like homework station. Ava has like my sit stand desks in the dining room over there. She never sits there to, to do her homework, but she like, there's a little crafts and stuff over there. But I want them to be, like have their homework stations in their room. Even though I do homework with them, so it's usually the three of us on the floor here in my office. I and mean, that's another project. Me finally finishing my office, girl. Yeah, it's been three years, but it's okay, girl. We are all a work in progress. Okay, we've just had a lot going on, but I do plan on finish, finishing my office. You guys will, I'll have to do a whole video about what I'm planning on doing in here. But the priority right now, before the end of the year, before the holidays even start, which really only gives us, what, a month and a half, um, is to get the girls, move everything out of their closets, get their closets set up, get their bed set up, get their rooms painted, set up and decorated, their homework stations in their room, their desks. Um, and for us to get a new bed and paint in our room. Am I ambitious? Yes. But you know, it's really been helping to make these little lists every week with my husband so that we know what we're doing. And it helps me too because, oh, I get so distracted sometimes. And if I don't have a plan of, okay, if I know the night before what I need to do the next day, then I'm on it. But if I have to think about it that morning, like if I wait till Monday to decide what I'm gonna do on Monday, I don't get as much done because it takes a lot of my brain power for me to even think about what I wanna do instead of me just taking the time on Sunday and just every single day, I'm knocking those things out. So 
Uh, I'm chatting a lot and I need to hurry up before the girls get home. Charles wants to go pick them up. So let me go ahead and make my meal plan. It's so hard. It's like I know that I have ground beef. I know I have chicken tenders, chicken tenderloins, and what else? Chicken thighs. I can make oven fried chicken. I made some oven fried chicken wings the other day. They were really good. The wings that I bought from Sam's that were on clearance, uh, or not clearance, but on sale. The bag of frozen wings. Uh, okay, let me go ahead and make my meal plan and then we'll chat after. I'm actually watching one of my old keto videos to get inspiration. Uh, <laughs> where I would uh, film the week's worth of meals, but I am just like out of scene here. I have sliders. See, the thing is with our schedule, we are short on time, like on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Thursdays really, because uh, we are have some place to go, you know, for practices and they're like at dinner time typically, like their practices start at six o'clock. And so Wednesday's the only day where we don't, we're all at home you know, in the evening where nobody has anything anywhere to go. And so I can make things that take a little bit longer on that day. Um, but I, all the other, like Monday, Tuesday and Thursday, it's gotta be quick. Like I'm talking a 20 minute meal. So uh, I just have to get through this season. I mean, the, the cheer season's almost over, praise God. <laughs> and even though I love it, my daughter loves it too. Uh, it's, it's a lot. So uh, that'll, once cheer is done, it'll ease up for us just a bit. Even though my daughter still is on the swim team, she swims year round and um, we'll probably take a break from that in December. But anyway, to make a long story short, I just need to find something quick for these two days and I just don't know. If you're interested, this is my meal planner printable. I'll leave a link in the description box if you're interested. It's like a whole meal planning printable that you can print yourself. That includes your grocery list, your inventory, your grocery budget tracker, a monthly template, and then a weekly template was what I'm using here, right here. Uh, like I said, if you're interested, the link is in the description box. So, uh, I'm gonna look out my deep freezer and see what I have, because I know I have ground beef, I know I have chicken tender loins um, that I'm just gonna throw on the grill on Wednesday. Um, and like I said, make a homemade Caesar. I just don't know what else. I have to look at my freezer. Hi, baby. Give me a hug and kiss. Mm. Hi, baby. Hi. Big girl. Give me a hug and kiss. Mm. Look at my babies, y'all. They're getting so big. <laughs> Do y'all remember how small they were when I started my first set in Sunday setup? They were so little. Okay, girls, it's not time to, to do a dance, though. We're just, you could just say hi. And uh, let's go up and, Zara, are you listening to music in your, girl, She's listening to music. girl, come on, put your phone away. It's time to get ready for bed. The next day. Good morning. It's the next day, y'all. So I ended up just spending time with the girls last night, getting them ready for bed. And then this morning we were off to school. Have you had to leave for work today? Everybody was fed. We're all good for the day. So now I finally finished my meal plan this morning. I made my to-do list for today. And then what I like to do with my Erin Condren Duo Daily, I use the Duo Daily. Every day I write my must do on the to-do for that day. Like there's one thing that I must do. Of course I have a full list of usually 10 to 12 things. But the thing that I absolutely must do, it has to get done, I wrote right for every day. And it kind of coincides with my list that I make with my husband about the things that we need to get done or, and then I have a list for work and things that I need to get done for my channels and stuff like that. So it's complicated, but right now it's working. Um, my my to-do list and how I manage that constantly changes. Right now it's pen and paper. Sometimes I use Notion. I built uh, the database. I bought a couple of templates and I also built a database from scratch. Sometimes I'm, I'm in the mood to use that, but right now I'm in the mood to just use pen and paper. And so that is what's working for me and my planning right now. With, what season are you guys in? Are you guys in a busy season like me? Like, what do you guys do to plan your week? Regardless if you work outside of the home, if you work from home, if you work for yourself, if you're a stay-at-home mom, in my eyes, all mothers work, okay? Unless we are one of those moms who has a nanny and a chef and a chauffeur. <laughs> all moms work so how do you guys manage your time how do you juggle like work responsibilities if you do work outside of the home or if you work at home for someone else or you work in corporate america how do you juggle that as well as home responsibilities kids responsibilities wifely you know your friends it's, it's a lot it's a lot to say the least that's why we always have to make sure that we fill our own cup with whatever that is and whatever you need 
during that time. And I find that now that I'm 40, I need, I have to fill my cup in different ways than I did when I was 30. Um, and I can talk about that more. I was thinking about starting a series called Gia's Gems, where I just share different things that I have realized or I have learned or the things that have been working for me, where we just sit and talk like this. I was thinking about starting the pod, making it a podcast, but I'm such a visual person that even with podcasts, I don't like to listen to them like that. I like to watch you talk, you know, uh, cause like I talk with my hands a lot or you wanna see my facial expressions. I don't know, I like to talk a lot. So I was thinking about starting that. I don't know though. I don't know if I should do it on this channel or some, I can't even imagine starting a whole third channel for that. But anyway, leave a comment down below and let me know if you'd be interested in that Gia's Gems. I was thinking about starting like, I don't know. We'll t we'll have to talk. Let's talk in the comments, okay? We'll we'll talk in the comments. I was thinking about starting like a membership. You know how some channels have memberships, where I just talk like. Well, of course it'll be super affordable, but where I I post Gia's gems there. But I don't know, y'all. We'll see. But anyway, let me share with you what my meal plan is. Okay, so tonight we're having sliders, and y'all listen. My meal plan right now. I'm just trying to get through this season of busyness right now until it slows down for us a little bit after cheer season. So uh, we're gonna have sliders, fries, and why did I spell fries? <laughs> I don't know why I spelled Girl, honey, I was so sleepy last night. I don't know why I spelled fries like that. I do know how to spell. <laughs> uh, and broccoli, okay, I'm keto, so of course I'm not going to, I'll, I'm gonna get some lettuce. I'm, I'm gonna go to the grocery store today. Tuesday we're gonna have sockeye salmon. I don't know what else we're gonna have. I'll probably get some asparagus. That's, that'll be good. Asparagus. I think that's how you spell it. Uh, we're gonna put some chicken on the grill and I make some homemade Caesar salads. We're having breakfast for dinner on Thursday and then homemade pizza on Friday and take out Saturday and then a beef brisket. I have a huge, I don't know how many pounds it is, beef brisket that I'm gonna make and cook up the whole thing and then freeze some of it after it's cooked. I'm gonna do that. My friend is gonna show me what to do for that uh because i it's a little bit overwhelming but she's gonna show me what to do and i'll film that next week and then of course i have my to-do list for today my must do for today monday is to wash my hair it is time it's, it's really time it's so dirty um, but i'm getting ready to get braids soon so um that's that so yeah that's it my friends thank you guys so much for coming me with me today on this sunday setup let me know if you want me to post more sunday setups i miss uh, just vlogging like this and just talking to you guys and just talking to the camera you guys are like family to me i don't think you guys understand how much i appreciate you guys especially i mean everybody everybody anybody who's ever taken the time to watch any of my videos the people who watch every video the people who watch a minute of one video or a second of one video i appreciate every single thing all the support that you guys give me all the comments the love it's, we have such a positive community and I want to make sure that I'm, I'm presenting content to you guys that is helpful, that is useful, that is um, educational, and that is motivational and where we just support one another. We could talk like friends because we are friends. A lot of you guys have been around since the beginning, since my girls were babies. You guys have seen them grow and we're in this together. I just want you to know that we are really friends. Like if you ever see me in real life, around please and i've i've met so many of you over the years but please come chat so we can have like a talk i want to have more of a dialogue with you guys and where it's not just me posting videos and but i really want to talk in the comments so let's get that popping okay but anyway that is it i'll probably film next week too that how i make this beef brisket and then we'll just go from there okay Thank you guys so much for watching. I pray that you guys have an amazing week. I pray for you and your families, that you guys are protected, that you guys are productive, that God continues to bless your family, that you guys are prosperous, okay? Um, I love you and I will see you next time. Bye.